everyone! On this episode of Coding with Kate, we are going to be talking about something that is personal to me as far as a procedure that is done. You all have probably noticed in my videos that it looks like my left eye turns in, so I look kind of cross-eyed. That is because I was born cross-eyed with bilateral strabismus, so both of my eyes were crossed inward. And I thought it would be really interesting since I had corrective surgery when I was younger to figure out how to code for strabismus surgery. I thought it would be an interesting experiment and I will note that I haven't come across this procedure in any of my practice books so I had to go online and ask other coders what would you code for this because I found that with strabismus surgery there are two types of surgeries that can happen so I wasn't entirely sure what the root operation would be. So today we are going to be talking about those two root operations and just the procedure in general. And we can work through what the surgery looks like, what the anatomy of the eye is, and what is actually being operated on, and what root operations could or could not be applied to it. So it's going to be pretty interesting to figure it out. So with strabismus surgery, I had to go online to figure out what the procedure looks like and all the different steps since I didn't have an example procedure to look at. And also because I don't have access to those records from back when I was like nine months, one year old. So I had to look and see and go online and I'll have a link in the description for this website that had a very in detailed description of this surgery and the different types of surgery, etc. So then you can go online and read it as well. And all of the visuals that I will have on the screen will also be coming from here. So you can go and look at those as well. So strabismus surgery, they call it eye muscle surgery. So this has to do with the muscles of the eye. And if we look at the anatomy of the eye, there are quite a few different muscles that are involved in the locomotion of the eyeball. This surgery specifically talks about the lateral and medial rectus muscles. So the lateral is on the outside, which turns your eyeball outward. So it contracts to then turn the eyeball outward. And then the medial rectus muscle turns your eye inward. So it contracts to turn your eyes inward. With this procedure, strabismus surgery, there are two types of procedures that can be done. There is a weakening procedure called a recession, called a recession procedure, so that's a weakening procedure. It weakens the muscle. And the other one is a strengthening procedure or resection. In this article paper, they go through the actual process of when the surgery starts, how they actually get into the eye, etc. I won't go into that. We'll wait until we actually code this in the PCS code book to read through that. But if a recession is planned for a particular muscle, what they do is they actually detach whatever rectus muscle from the eye and it is recessed or moved back and then sutured in. So it is changing the placement of where the muscle actually attaches to the eye. And this helps with the alignment because if the muscle needs to be weakened because it's pulling too hard and pulling the eyeball out or inward depending on which muscle you're looking at, Moving it backward would ease that realignment and it wouldn't pull the eyeball out as far. And I believe that is the one that they did with me, I think. I believe they recessed the medial rectus muscles of both of my eyes. But that's a guess. I don't really know. Because I do remember when I was younger, I was able to turn my head and look in the mirror or my sister was able to look at my eye and you could see a tiny little uh, scar that looked similar to what's in this visual. But again, who knows if I'm even remembering correctly. 
but we'll assume that they did a recession on my medial rectus muscles. And then the other procedure is the resection or strengthening of one of the rectus muscles. Now this one, in visual image, they are basically taking out or excising a section of the muscle and then reattaching those two ends. So you have your muscle, they're cutting here and here, like that, cutting it out, and then attaching it. So they're making the muscle shorter, which will then bring the eye back into alignment because the muscle is not as long as it used to be. I don't think they did that with my eyes. I don't think so. So after reading about these different types of procedures for strabismus surgery and what strabismus is, we can conclude that there is a misalignment in the eyes. So the surgeries are correcting that. They are realigning the eyeballs to correct their placement. So that would be our objective of the procedure. Realignment. Moving the eyes back into their correct and normal placement. Because originally they're pointing inward, which is not normal, and correcting it so they are straight forward and in their correct alignment. So that would tell me that the root operation we need to be looking at is reposition. The root operation that I would conclude, at least for the recession, where they detach whatever rectus muscle and then reattach it in a different place, I would consider that reposition. They are repositioning the muscle from an abnormal location to a normal location and also to move the eyeball from an abnormal alignment to a normal alignment. I would consider that reposition. When I asked this question online with the coders, they agreed that recession would be reposition. But then I wasn't sure about resection because, yeah, they are taking out a section of the muscle, which would be excision, but it's still to realign the eyeball. So it could still be repositioned because they are technically taking out a portion of the muscle to shorten it so then the eyeball can be repositioned into its correct alignment. So we are a little unsure about the resection. The coder that answered me said it could be either reposition or excision for resection. And I need to ask more coders what they feel. So this is where we get into some of the controversial root operations where a procedure can look like two root operations. So I don't know, but I'm sure they did a recession procedure on my eyes, which I'm confident in saying it is reposition, that that is the root operation for recession. So that is, strabismus surgery, what it is, why it connects to me, how you would find its root operation and define what the objective is. And then in another video coming up pretty soon, we will use the procedure steps that was in that article I got this information from. We'll use that as a template for actually coding in the PCS code book for one or both of the strabismus surgeries. We might just stick with recession, but you never know. We might decide to do both. So then we can actually see how we would find it in the code book, especially since I have never coded this type of procedure before. So I will have to practice and make sure I'm doing it correctly so I give everyone the correct information. Hopefully that goes well. 
and I will have a link in the description to the previous root operation video that talks about reposition so you can see other examples of reposition procedures. I will have a link to the article that I was reading from and where I also got the visuals for this video. So then you can go to that website and actually read through all the information. They have some good information with examples of two patients that had both types of procedures, which will be really interesting because then they have pictures of before and after so you can see the difference. It is very cool and how they explain what was wrong with the eyes, how they fixed it, etc. Very interesting. And subscribe to this channel if you want more videos on PCS, ICD-10-CM diagnosis coding. Ooh, maybe we'll try doing strabismus, bilateral strabismus in the diagnosis code book. That will be very interesting. I think we'll do that next. And also for my path to understanding CPT, if you want to learn all about that and follow along on my journey, please subscribe to this channel so you are always in the know. And like this video if you enjoyed this topic, if you thought it was interesting and you would like more procedures that aren't commonly known or commonly used, and you would like to see how we pinpoint the objective and code it in the PCS code book, let me know. You can always comment with suggestions of what videos you want me to do or what topics you want me to cover, and I will research them if I don't know how to do them already, and I will make a video for you. So I'll see y'all later. Bye!